been home in just four weeks. Last week, we saw Sasha renovate Alison's massive house. After Sasha applied her magic to the house, we saw its value soar by an impressive amount. This week, we're in Florian, and Sasha will need the help of all her team on this one. Hi, I'm Sasha de Breton, and here we are at this dated 70s style home completely transformed into a modern Asian fusion resort style luxury abode. It was a very challenging job, let's find out how we did it. Now this week we're on a huge home in Floriot. We only met the clients last week and we're starting in under a week's time. As you can see, the client is in the middle of packing. This is going to be a huge renovation inside and out and we're turning this very dated 70s style home into a beautiful Asian fusion luxury resort. Let's check out what's happening in the lounge. The clients have three beautiful boys, here's little Wilson, and the carpets are light so you can see they're extremely stained, they're not practical for children so we're doing a soft chocolate carpet so you don't see the stains here. We're going to change all the flooring here, repair all the windows that are old. You can see the clients in the middle of moving, they've got one day to pack so they're shipping out and we're shipping in. Before the clients leave for the holiday, Sasha and her team of designers make sure that every style and every change that is going to occur has been okayed by the client. After that, Sasha will have a series of meetings with her team in order to complete this renovation on time and in style. I'm here in the master ensuite which is being totally gutted and we're turning it into a beautiful Asian style with a natural stone and natural earthy tone looks that she wants, beautiful stone feature, making a bigger shower. Now you can see here where this old window is, we're actually taking that window out all together and we're putting the most beautiful white bi-folding louver shutters there and a beautiful big bath with a stone feature so the clients can lay in this gorgeous bath, open up the shutters and look out onto their resort style garden. But let's go and check out the landscaping. This is a different job for Sash. She not only is renovating the inside of the house but also making substantial changes to the outside garden as well. She needs to stay true to her Asian fusion brief. A kiosk and a daybed will add to the Balinese look she's going for. An important part of the design story is putting all the accessories together. Renovation and painting the walls and putting the floors down and doing the gardens is one thing, but the dressing of the home adds all the value and the wow factor. Now because we're going with a bit of an Asian theme, you can see I've picked up some Asian style. We've got little lamps here with the reds and blacks, which is very Asian. Uh, red is a big strong theme in the Asian countries. Red and blacks with the leaves, again lots of bamboo, leaves, greenery. I've brought this into the cushions, which I'm putting out on the day beds in the gardens, bringing that whole leafy theme in bring in some funky spiky plants, nice gorgeous blue candles, adding pops of colour with the lime green. So you can see that, you, you know, green and red, you're adding throws of colour here and pops of colour there. It really brings everything to life. So it's very, very important. Little Asian lanterns, things like this. You can put a little light in and stick it around the garden. All of these little cute lanterns, they don't have to cost a lot. They can be quite cost effective. You put a little light in, pop it, hang it somewhere, pop it in the garden. It gives a really nice finishing feature to the home. I'm here with Sam to do the appraisal of the Floriot job before. How are you, Sam? I'm very good, thanks, Sam. So what's the verdict? Yeah, very, very old, dated, strange house, um, strange layout, um, but fantastic location. Brilliant location, an up-and-coming area has always been a good area, lots of leafy trees around. Um, and this job we are doing inside and out, so it's a full gut. You need to. Yeah. <laughs> And they could have bowled this and rebuilt it for triple the price and taken two, two years. So we're endeavouring to do this in four to five weeks, which is a massive job. Huge. In and out. So what did you put the valuation at it now? Um, around about 1.45 to 1.5 mil. Pretty much land value um, and a bit of rebuild as well. So 
yeah, the, the value will come when the property is completed. Absolutely, and I'm excited about that because this is going to be an Asian fusion style, so quite different from my normal bling. Mm. And um, it's a whole inside out, massive budget, big job, and I actually think it's going to go up a million dollars. That's my. There's one day on the road, a two story that sold just recently for 2.7. Okay, so, so that's, that's interesting. Mm. Well, that's my bet. I lay my cards on the table. <laughs> See you in a few weeks. I'm here in the master ensuite. Now you know we're doing a really Asian style bathroom. I've got the 3D AutoCAD here so it helps my tilers know exactly what the design's going to look like. Now DJ here has drawn out to do the border tile double the width but I've just given him the, the picture to say look let's do it half the width because I think that's a bit thick. What do you think DJ? Yeah I think this is much nicer. So sometimes less is more, doing a, a thinner strip, so I think that's good. We'll do it half, half tile like that. And that's also, this beautiful featured stone is also going to come around the bath fascia. So we're going to pull in the shower to the bath. And the other thing that we're doing here is we've got a natural stone tile. So I'm going away from my usual bling. And because we're doing very earthy, Balinese, natural styles this time, I'm also doing a twist with the way that we're tiling. Normally I'll do it on the horizontal from left to right up the wall. But we're going vertically this time because it's a quite a contemporary look and also a really um, new and slightly different look. So it'll give the clients a bit of a contemporary edge. Now on this huge job in Florida, we are doing the whole inside and outside of the house in four weeks, five weeks. So it's a massive job, completely gutting it inside and out. Now the clients had had quotes from other landscapers prior to us coming on board and there were quite a few hundred thousand just in the garden, front and back. So we came in with some great cost effective saving techniques and one of them is the pool. Now you can see with this old pool, it's an old fiberglass pool. The other landscapers have suggested to take the pool out, put a new pool in, which can all be done, takes a lot longer, takes six months to get the pool in, at a cost of 60 grand for a new pool. Now literally for just a few thousand dollars, we are draining the pool and we are re-gelling it. So yes, you can actually revive and re-gel an old fiberglass pool so it looks like brand new. Then what we're going to do is put new headers over the side of the pool, take up all this concrete. You can see my guys in the background are getting rid of all the old concrete so the pool doesn't overflow. And we're putting beautiful new paving down, new headers with a new lining and it's going to look fantastic. Up behind us here you can see this gazebo. The gazebo was in good condition but the roof was all coming apart so we're just re-thatching it to give a brand new look so we can zhuzh it up and make it look a million bucks in the garden. I'm Sasha and today I'm down in the showroom and I'm going to show you an Asian fusion style. Whilst we're at it, I might just show you Parisian and coastal looks as well. Clients can come down here and we can create any look for your new home. Let's go and check it out. Now this is our Asian fusion board. Now we like to mix a bit of contemporary with our Asian fusion and we take inspiration from designs all across the world. You can see this is quite a contemporary picture but because of the wood grain, Asian countries use a lot of wood. You can see that's picked up here again in the natural bamboo. We've also got this in elements such as mats and things we can put on the floor. Then we start to bring in the colours and the patterns of the greens and the reds. So we've got some leafy coloured um, feature tiles here for bathrooms. We then pull that into fabrics where we have some beautiful leaf style patterns on the fabrics. Taking inspiration again from the fans, the dark wood, the yellows, the greens, the stony kind of colours. This is a very beautiful Asian fusion board mixed with contemporary elements. Let's go and have a look at our Asian fusion room. Now 
Now you can see that because we live so close to Indonesia, a lot of people love that Bali style, Asian resort style retreat. Now a lot of Asian is actually quite contemporary. Lots of beautiful wood grains, then throwing in a bit of rattan, you can see all the little lentils, all the little touches. So Asian is a really easy style to do because you kind of just go contemporary and then you throw the ornamental pieces in. So from the light fittings, which are quite beautiful, they've got some little floral patterns in here and going up to Buddha's head. Now Buddha's very typically Asian. You don't have to go a really full on Asian, but you just have a couple of ornaments that pull in those oriental feelings in terms of colouring, the greens, the reds, the bamboo here behind me. You just pull in the leaves, you pull in the colours, put in a few ornamental pieces and you've got yourself an Asian fusion room. This is our coastal room. Coastal is very comfortable, it's relaxing, it's beachy, it's breezy and again it's just the accessorising. So it's about bringing elements in with the glass and the rustic woods and the nice rugs and beautiful cushions that have the sandy coastal sort of hessian looks to it, a lot of hessian shells, rope, you know, and bringing those beautiful deep azul colours in that reflect off the ocean. You can see here we've got shutters and again this hessian sofa. It's all about a really relaxed weekend lazy way of living. I'm in the Parisian room. Now we've gone quite a traditional French provincial here. You get modern Parisian, which I love, the glamour Parisian, but this is quite the country style with the ornate arched windows, the beautiful old hydrangeas. We've got a really old weather-beaten buffet and traditional chairs and country style tables. We have the beautiful fleur-de-lis and the France, which is a traditional um, country style French. So whether you want country or whether you want modern Parisian, we can put the whole look together to create that real European styling in your own home. Here we are at our huge job in Floriot. Now we're a couple of days off D-Day. As you can see, we're doing all the gardens in here. It's a massive job, this one inside and out with this lush tropical style barley garden feel. Let's go inside because there's lots of trades around. It's very chaotic. There's like bees in a hive buzzing around getting everything done. Clients are coming back on Monday. Let's check it out. I've got a couple of my designers here, my project manager and one of my designers putting furniture together. We've got all the furniture moving in because part of our renovation service, once we've done the whole house and the gardens, we also dress it and style it. So you can see this gorgeous lamp I've bought. It's got some florals on it, so it's a bit of that Asian leafy theme flowing through the house, but still quite modern and contemporary. So we're blending a bit of a contemporary Asian look here. Let's check out what else is happening. Your day bed. Oh my God. Oh, look at the doors! Oh, <laughs> just bored. Is it exciting? This and in your exactly and see your see your lanterns. They all light up, so you've got garden lighting. So at night time, when the sun goes down, this will be all lit up. And all the trees will grow up, grow up because some of them are new, so they'll grow up all lush and it's beautiful. Look at your beautiful day bed. What an amazing transformation. The client is ecstatic and everything was finished on budget and on time. Vicky and Adrian couldn't believe what was achieved in such a short amount of time. I'm here with 
Vicky, my gorgeous Floriot client. Now, she was blindfolded and brought back in after her trip from Vegas. And we renovated her whole home in three weeks while she was away. So I've come back a month later to see how she's settling in and how she's enjoying it. So what do you think of your new home? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. It's it's my sanctuary. It's, it's you know, it's something I've, more than my dreams, really. It's amazing. That is yes. so amazing for me to be able to, because that's, for me as a business, to be able to provide a lifestyle change and actually transform people's lives is my biggest gift. That's my biggest satisfaction, to, to give people their dreams, because that's quite a hard thing to do. Oh, you've certainly given us out. You know, because mm -hmm. I'm having to try to read your mind and what you like and what's mm -hmm. going to make you happy, and it's a huge renovation inside and out, because the garden was an absolute sand pit, and now it's your lush <laughs> tropical garden. Yes. It's hard to believe really. So yeah. how's it transformed your life? Well, you know, I never used to sit out in the garden at all because it was it's just awful. Yeah. And now I'm there every day, every morning. I want to go up and sit and you know, I wake up early so I can go out and enjoy the garden. Yeah. I go and sit in there and watch the rain and you know, have a nap on my day bed. It's heaven. Yeah. It's heaven. So you feel house. like because you've got your family and you've got busy lives and you're yeah. both dentists and you're working with full time busy businesses so yes. you can come home and, and it makes such a difference to how you feel when your home's unrenovated or the space is wrong, colours wrong, you can get quite depressed. Yeah. Yeah. And you never imagined in three weeks we could do what we did no. on this size job. Oh no, and I was, it was so easy for me, so easy. I was away on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> and we well just done. waved our magic wand. I know. Worked very, very you hard. You guys were amazing. I, I can't believe all the little extra things you did for us, which we never expected. It was, it blew me away, it really touched me. And I'm so Thank grateful you. because you've given me now your sister's house to do, which is a beautiful big mansion as well, which is going to be French provincial style. This is Asian fusion. And um, because we do try, you know, you don't get this from anyone else. To be able to do the renovation is one thing, but pick the style and do all the furnishing and the finishings and the whole um, shebang inside and out and in the time frame and the quality you happy with everything quality yes. process staff yes. designers I love girls. the staff the girls are beautiful you know and and it's everything I wanted that, everything that is amazing and on top of you getting your <coughs> dream which is the biggest thing for me for you to have a lifestyle shift and you to be happy in your home but on top of that the home went from 1.45 million land value we've had it revalued looked at figures and got second opinions and it's gone up to 2.2 million so it's a $750,000 rise which is quite huge and considering the market is very flat in Perth it's gone down further and mm. it's really had a drop 30 to 40,000 to so the fact that renovation adds so much value even in a falling market, I can now know that your investment is a solid investment. You've made a bit of money on top of the investment as well as you've got your dream. Yes. So yes. happy ending. <laughs> That's right. But we'll never sell. We'll love it. <laughs> Fantastic. So from me to you, I'll see you on Vicky's sister-in-law's <laughs> renovation next yes. time we meet. Once again, Sasha did an amazing job. In fact, Vicky was so impressed with the renovation that she contacted her sister, who's looking at renovating as well. Next time, we'll have a look at this three-story property on the foreshore and how Sasha will use her magic to change a rundown house into a luxurious million-dollar property.